Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Nathan. I'm here with Dave. Hello. Dave, I've got cards. Yeah, wow. Like, you know, this is a new level of preparedness. Exactly. What game announced in 2015, a remake of an old game, am I most excited about from E3 so far? Is it Doom? Yes. I've read Probably it, Nathan. I'm not going to lie. Oh. So we're here to do a video which is called Five Things You Should Know About Doom. Yeah. Um, the new one. I'm so excited about Doom. Yeah, I know. This list was easy to write, let me yeah. tell you. I'm going to make you guess now, Dave. In my, I, was, I wasn't going to do this as a quiz. Okay, I, w I won't look. But it seems right now. What do you think's first on this list? Um, is it the chainsaw? It's actually in there. Congratulations. All right, it's not five, top, though. Five hell points to Dave. <laughs> uh, no, it is. No, well, it's, it's in this entry, this bullet point entry. Which the first one is kills. Just the kills, the violence, right? So yeah. you're going to remake a Doom game. They're basically, they're remaking Doom. It's coming out next year. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's quite exciting. Um, and the thing that I'm most excited about, or at least one of the top five, is the kills. Yeah. And we were in the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood. That was nice, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, and the thing that the crowd just went crazy as soon as it got really violent. Yeah. Um, Everyone was really enjoying the game anyway, but any time there was some ultra-violence, of which there was lots. Yeah. Um... So there was, it, it there was like, like an astonished noise. Like it wasn't just yeah. It wasn't just bloodlust. It was like oh. <gasps> yeah. It was like a Can't football crowd. Done and that. that was a brilliant skill. Except it wasn't a brilliant skill. It was the Space Marine from Doom getting his hands inside the mandibles of an imp and just <laughs> ripping it apart. It was horrible. It yeah. was really horrible. Um, and yeah, at the end, do you want to describe how the chainsaw worked? Because the chainsaw's back. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But. Yeah. Well, just I guess um, just horribly carving people in half yeah, from top to seen bottom. Chainsaws. Before, but yeah, it, was, it, was it like worked that. as you might ex expect. But it wasn't the good thing was it wasn't just like, you know, one one particular way of slicing demons. They showed off three or four. Yeah, you know? there was lots. There's variety. So the kills are really gruesome, as you'd expect. Uh, it's Doom, but I guess you know, old Doom. There was there was jibbing. That's what they call it when you just get kind of pixelated, just you know, gore. Yeah. But it, they never had the sophistication to do violence quite like this yeah so that's good isn't it <laughs> i'm glad yeah. kills um right i'm gonna this is the last time i'm gonna do it in the form of a question because okay. i feel like the gimmick's already old but what's number two on this list bearing in mind that i said something was about to come up in a second i said chainsaws are coming back right what's, what's this is it one? melee no it's weapons dave right. weapons is number two so dave's lost all of his help oh, i'm so confused i'm sorry <laughs> So just the weapons. So one of the thing that I liked about this as a, as an old school Doom player is that they brought back on in a basic level. They've got like um, it's, it's a weapon a, wheel. They've got a weapon wheel, but the weapons that populate that wheel yeah. are the old school weapons. Old favourite. Shotgun, super shotgun. So yeah. that's three. Um, and then actually, I can't was it shift three in Doom two, and then four is the chainsaw. Yeah. Five is the. Rocket, rocket launcher. launcher yeah six is that green one the pulse rifle no it's anyway. the blue one <laughs> and they had the pulse rifle and there was like a knowing murmur when they pulled out the pulse rifle and it started you weren't sure from the design of the guns but as soon as it started firing blue energy people were like yeah, yeah. it's the pulse rifle and it's definitely a game that um it obviously like you know knows where it's come from they made yeah. a massive deal of, of the importance of doom but i like that in the actual gameplay, every time you found a weapon, it was properly like it was like a little in-game cinematic. Like, look at this gun. We've reimagined <laughs> those guns that you remember so well. Take note. Have a good look. This is what the pulse rifle looks at. Looks like it's got all these little moving parts. Would well, you know? And I like the um, the bit of gameplay we saw. And I'm not sure if it's what people saw at QuakeCon last year when they showed the game almost a year ago. Now. Yeah. Um, but it's very much designed around. It's probably five minutes of action, and it's basically the marine finding. I don't even know if he's a marine now. Uh, is the guy finding you know weapons one through seven? Yeah. Uh, d didn't show us the BFG, but um, not in that section anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's just the importance of those weapons. And the the, sh the other thing that struck me was the stopping power of the shotgun, which yeah. was uh, the double when they picked up the double bar double barrel shotgun, enormous cheer obviously yeah. from the crowd, um, and it's just pulling off rims, limbs, not rims. No, the rims <laughs> stayed on. The uh, yeah, the the Hellspawn's cars were unaffected by the uh, by the shotgun. But it seemed quite sort of dynamic, didn't it? It felt like you, where you were shooting enemies had an effect on the re the remains. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And obviously that's like not a new thing for games. I guess the thing for me that it captured was uh, when you played old school Doom. If you, for instance, if you were killing the imps, Dave, the kind of, you know, the brown demons, yeah. the fireballs, 
uh, and they seem to be the main enemy that we were kind of seeing with with their new faster fireballs um, if you shot them just right you could kill them with one um, cartridge of a, of a shotgun blast in, yeah. in, the, in the old dooms and and there was like a real satisfaction to nailing particular sorts of kills like if you got someone to explode by punching them for example nice I mean, that's top fun isn't it yeah so and, and the um, so the super shotgun taking off arms and blowing people backwards and stuff in the in the gameplay that we saw seemed to kind of capture that kind of that same feedback from the weapon and number three getting into the kind of the newer features but I still what I like about it is that it reminds me of the old school stuff this is snap map oh yeah wow summarize snap map Dave uh, it's like everybody no matter you know People oh. like Dave can make maps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> People it's, who can't speak and say it's like, like it's Dave. like making a, a multiplayer map like a using Lego, where every yeah. room is a brick and you just stick them on the side, and then you but then you can so fill you them up, decorate them how you like, and you can alter all the sort of rules of your map yeah. to make a game mode. So you can have a completely customizable map and game mode, and then you just press a button and you share it to the PlayStation Network and all your friends and enemies. Can, can play on your map and your mode. This is big news for like so when I was you know when I was a younger man and uh, 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 we used to play Doom and like Doom wads, wad files, new levels. Yeah. Um, and like I even I tried to build a level. It didn't work. You, I loaded it up and it was just a, a hall of mirrors. It had a you know it yeah. was a common <laughs> 3D rendering glitch you used to get if you didn't know what you were doing. But part of the old Doom, the reason it was so successful is because it was at the dawn of the internet and people were sharing stuff like that for the first time. And it kept the community alive for ages. And this seems like just a really good way to kind of plug into that. Um, that Doom goes along with people trying to create their levels. Yeah. You know, like people making their own houses, the local library, you know, like yeah. in Doom doing that kind of stuff. Um, and you're going to be able to do that again. And the visualizer for this thing, as you said, that's what reminded us of Lego, I think. It's like a really neat kind of 3D. I think this is the, the part thing. that's really important because, you know, level editors still really do exist. And, yeah. it, you know, people love in things like Little Big Planet. But it's the, I think it's it's the no braininess <laughs> of just yeah, yeah. here's a room, you just stick really, another, it just snaps on, neat hence the name. Yeah. And it's going to make it really easy for people who perhaps haven't used map editors and stuff before to, to, to make something really good and playable straight but I'm not going to make any maps but I look forward to seeing what you guys make well, for yeah, me because that's how that works yeah um, and the next one is Dave multiplayer deathmatch that's yeah. the word that was invented for Doom I know and now there's more of it it's amazing <laughs> yeah thank god full circle so they showed a bit of um, they showed a bit of the multiplayer yeah. and I don't know if you picked it up but there is some asymmetrical stuff seems to be going on oh no I didn't did you notice that no. so there was there was like running around just as you know humans yeah. Um, shooting each other, but then there seemed to be um, you picked up or you stood into on like um, one of those you know like uh, a cult thing yeah. so you draw on the ground. Come up with the cult, um, and like the screen went red, and I, and I thought, oh, it's like it's a uh, like an overshield, like the berserker mode yeah. in the original Doom. But then it seemed to show uh, revenants, which means I think it just means the return. But they're a sort of enemy type anyway. There's the guys with the rocket launchers on their shoulders. Oh yeah, you might have seen in the really quick pre three teaser that they showed. Um, it looked like it was them versus humans, and the humans were kind of turning into ah. them. That's what I mean by asymmetrical. So, um, And then there was like a really nasty finishing move. Like it was like a guy plunging his thumbs into the eye sockets of one of the revenants. Yeah. Um, so it looks like there's not just going to be, you know, I guess it goes along with what we were talking about in Snap Map, with being able to kind of change custom rules and Definitely. stuff. Definitely. looks like it's going to be quite flexible, and there's going to be different ways of playing it. Um, the last thing that I'm going to say that I'm excited about, number five, I mean, this is almost completely ridiculous. But the thing that I'm excited about is the way you move sideways. Right. Can you guess why? Well, because it was all about that in the original game. It was, yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's, well, that's yeah. it, Dave. That's all I've got to say about um, it. How did you notice, what did you notice about well, the strafing in this one? So the last... Um, I've thrown my cards down. That's how serious <laughs> I am about this point. So the last uh, bit of gameplay that they showed today was... Uh, more frantic, it was set in hell. Hell is full of uh, human skulls on spikes. I noticed that, and yeah. And brown rocks, <laughs> if, you, if you were interested. Um, and it, he kind of went into a pit, the, the whoever was playing the game, and then was attacked from all sides by quite big, heavy demons. Yeah. Um, and it was the way that, so for me, any Doom game which has come since the original Doom, um, strafing a fireball is like the ultimate pleasure of Doom, and knowing how fast they travel so that you can be fighting an imp on one side of the level, he'll follow, fire like a volley of fireballs, you'll turn around and shoot a couple of humans, turn back and you're already moving sideways because you've kind of gauged how long it's going to take his fireballs to reach you. Yeah. And I got that kind of rhythm, that kind of sense from the way that whoever was playing this, who obviously knew the level and the enemies very well, was moving when, the, when there were imps but there were also yeah. revenants firing um, missiles. 
down into this pit and the way that he was dodging stuff sideways that he knew was coming from behind him because of the like just the rhythm of the way the game works and the way that he was when he was attacking bigger enemies he would jump forward to shoot the super sh super shotgun because it um, dissipates over a too long it's got not got much range and then he was backing away again to give himself more of uh, more of an angle so that he had more strafing capability and I just thought those movement patterns having watched this demo all the way through while we were sitting in the Dolby Theatre and thought um, the violence is great I'm loving the violence yeah. I'm loving all the special kind of melee kills you can do and it looks like when you weaken enemies they get into they kind of flash red and then blue and it looks like they get into a weakened state where they're susceptible to those melee kills I was thinking this stuff is all cool I'm loving snap map but it was when I saw that they but it's different you know it's the same but different yeah. how do you how do you recapture old doom maybe you can't i don't know and then i saw that at the end and i thought ah, there is something of the old way that i you know the the core pleasure of why i really like this game is still here yeah and that's why i was excited so that's doom that's why i'm excited about doom it's coming back it looks like it's actually coming back 2016 um thank you for making it uh id software and bethesda and thank you for watching this video about why we're excited about it five things you must know about doom uh stay with us on the channel subscribe so you don't miss anything from e3 we've got tons coming up this week uh and into the future so you should stay with us forever uh thanks for watching <laughs>